All righty. Welcome to the show. I'm Dan Hatchman from uh, Hatchos Shapes, and this is How to Not Suck at Surfing, the show where we review the clips you have submitted and uh, give some feedback on how to improve your surfing and get over some uh, common barriers to progression. There she is. She's just this little ripper. One of a couple of micro groms who follow hatch or shapes. Not micro groms. She's like a full size grom. What am I talking about? But absolutely freaking ripping. These guys shred. Her and her group of friends. Just so awesome. It's like a little backside. Backside beachy. Nice. Got a nice little backside turn there. Really good technique through this part. <coughs> Opening up. Um, yeah, and then turning head down, smacking the lip, keeping the nose up, just very good. Very good start, strong start, awesome technique. Uh, only thing I would say is you could give yourself some more space on this wave. Right here, if you take this line down a little lower, <coughs> down through like this section here, fade down to the bottom, and then come onto the back rail to slow up, and then come up, you'll give yourself a bit more space and time to come up and attack the lip more, get a little more angle of attack. But uh, your technique for opening your body up and then coming around, looks really good. Just technique is spot on, so. Yeah, maybe that, maybe that will help you next time you go for surf. Think about fading to the bottom before you come up and attack the lip. So, yeah, it's a good one. Alrighty. Oh, so, yes. What a snap. <coughs> And a nice little check turn. That was awesome. Driving down the line. Ah! Oh, wow. What a star master. Reminds me of uh, Ryan Birch. Just killing it. That was awesome. I mean, this first turn... you're going for the fade down kind of turn just I mean that's beautiful there's no way you can possibly do that better that was awesome such good technique holding the line beautiful on the second wrap back uh, could probably be slightly improved just by the line you were taking maybe so you kind of come across this way and just do a little sort of jam cut back. If you get, let yourself come back in the power source a bit more, then you can get one good pump and then draw a higher line and just hold that like cut back position, which you had on lock again. Your goofy foot is be this way. This like open position with your weight on your back foot. You can hold that a bit longer if you just manage to come back here, get a bit, one pump to get some speed and then draw higher and then round a little longer arc. But uh, overall, two banger clips to get us started. So awesome. <coughs> Beautiful coming around the section. Yeah, so nice. Cheeky little fade down here. So, oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like a good board for the day too. Plenty of surface area on it. Very nice. Yeah, I think with uh, a little longer turn at the end there, you could even do a roundhouse cutty in this kind of section. Come back and hit into the foam. Even on even with that same approach you had, you could probably just hold it out longer and come back and. Hit the foam, which is a really good feeling. Beautiful. Thanks, uh, Ruby, for submitting those, those clips. 
Um, you've got at... Surfing Ranger on Instagram. There he is. TSR. I assume, I assume that stands for the Surfing Ranger. Now, he didn't get time to send me any of his clips, but he did put in the comments that I can come and have a look at his account. So we will do that. Look at that. Look at that. That's epic. What a front side snap. Yeah, beautiful bit of rail work there. Very balanced. Really nice weight management. <coughs> Opens his body. And then brings his legs around. Just textbook stuff. Foot right back on the pad. Towards the middle of the back of the pad by the looks of it. That's where you will get the most maneuverability and this guy's probably ripping way harder than me, so. Awesome stuff. At uh, TSR, if you're after some boards, I can definitely do you some at uh, team price at cost boards. Because <laughs> this stuff is just awesome. Awesome. Is that the same turn? That's not the same turn. That was a nice layback. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is... Uh, on this last section here, you can see... he Right here, there's a section up here and he's seeing it. No, not this one. The next one. He sees there's a section he wants to hit up in front, so he fades down to the flats, and that way you can get a more steep attack at the lip. Okay, it wasn't that one, it must be this one. Yeah, here. He's fading down to the flats, just giving himself a lot of space to come up and smack the lip. Oh, that was just gorgeous. Yeah, that's something a lot like a lot of uh, a lot of surfers don't think about is that to attack the lip at a really sharp angle, um, you probably have a lot of the time too much speed so you have to like come down into the flats burn off that speed and then come up and give yourself a lot of space to come up and get into the lip just oh, ah, man this guy's pretty good <laughs> wonder if we can get get this snap in here it's on the side we'll, we'll skip that one Yeah, oh, look at that rail work. Beautiful. I really like this carve. Left hand down, dragging his fingers. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Thanks, uh, surfing.ranger on Instagram. Alrighty. Next, we have a clip from... My good friend, Dina. Yeah, so she's doing it perfect. Got her weight uh, over the center of the board there, which is going to be the fastest for coming across under a section like that. Really good. Opening her body up for a cutback. Getting a little caught off guard there, but... Overall, very nice. The only thing I would say for improvement here, I mean, there's not a whole lot on offer with this wave, so you've done a gr great job just to, uh, you know, get some waves going on a day like this. It's tricky when it's this small. Um, what I would say is, when you get out to the face here, in this section, you can set the rail line, try and uh, hold a little bit of speed, and then shift your weight, your back foot right back onto the tail and jam a little cutback. So this cutback you do is quite slow because you're up on the front of the board and turning off of the rail line. Whereas if you jam your back foot back onto the tail, here, <laughs> I was just putting my cursor on the wrong screen. What an idiot. <laughs> 
if you get your back foot, shift it right towards the back of the tail pad, you should be able to jam and do a little tighter pivot. Right, then grab this water. For a little demo. So if we're thinking about uh, driving down the line here, it's okay to have your front foot like right on the middle of the board or slightly to the front, maybe slightly to the back depending on, on preference, but you want to weight this front foot so that the board is just neutrally buoyant. But when you want to like, this is if you're in a really dud section and you want to keep, keep moving. When you want to hit the little cut back or something though, you want to shift your foot back. If you're not doing a tight turn, you can hit about the front or middle of the foot pad because on most boards there's enough of a hip here that you can turn reasonably tightly. Whereas if you want to like do a turn where you pop some release out of the lip or really jam it tight, you got to get your foot even further back, like right back to the sort of middle back of the foot pad. Very nice little cameo from my uh, new spring fling for myself here. Looking pretty nice. If I do say much so by myself. Yum. Thank you, Dina, for the clip. So good. I know Dina's a skater as well, so you can... Uh, Potentially practice this skill by using the kick pad, kick pad, the tail on your skateboard and practice using that to pivot. It has a very similar um, feeling. Dom. Now I know one of these videos is an absolute banger. Yeah, that was it, huh? Wow. What a freaking turn. Just dropping into the section front side. Laying on the rail so hard. That was an that was an Ethan Ewing esque bottom turn. I mean that could be a pro for all I know. If you're pulling my leg Dom and you've just got a clip of and <laughs> some pro surfing at Margaret River or whatever. Very dirty, but uh, no, that was, in all seriousness, that turn was absolutely sick. So let's come down here. Seeing this section he wants to hit up here. Faded down, absolutely hit the rail. This is something Ethan used to do a couple of years ago. Uh, just like do these really distinct and hard bottom turns. And in my opinion, they look sick. Bah, yeah, look at that thing. Wow, throwing buckets. That was epic. So, so, so good. <laughs> very impressed. Very, very impressed. Alright, here's the second wave. What do we got going on here? Little check turn. And a nice slice under the lip. It's very good weight management. Awesome surfing all around. Uh, the only thing I would say is you could maximize this, maximize this wave a little more if you're thinking like a shredhead. I mean, if you're thinking like Craig Anderson, then maybe you just want to go through this section and dodge sections and stand with your arms down, cruise them. <laughs> But if you're uh, going for a more Jads and Andre kind of thing, I don't know why I'm using goofy footers for this, but apparently I am. Wait. Yeah, Jaddy's a goofy. Uh, then you kind of miss sections here. So here coming up, could have wrapped back a bit more, maybe gone a bit steeper. And then for this bit, you come in and like miss the lip a bit here, but I guess it's a, it's a tricky section because it's coming up slowly so it's sort of uh, coming out of nowhere might be better to wait wait up on this little peak here uh, for
or just a split second longer. So you're already over here. I might wait just a split second till about here. And then this will be steeper. So you should get more speed as you race across. So you should start racing now. And then you could hit the lift like here maybe. Maybe you could even make it around this section. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Not that you're going to get this same wave again. This is kind of a flawed flawed theory i'm pointing out what you could have done better on a wave that you'll never get again so <laughs> uh, hilarious thanks dom for the clip you're a legend man hey julian volley we can hear you dom dom mccray yeah it's dom hey jules julian in the chat nice one there he is <laughs> Epic. Did you see your clip, Jules? Oh, we didn't do yours yet. Trying again, so uh Here we go. I've heard this is some secret Southern Ocean spot. Uh, <laughs> man, this is a freaking wave right here. That is a beautiful long period swell. Like eight seconds or more. It looks crazy good. Dropping in, stalling backside. Getting a pit. Wow. Coming out with doggy door. Absolutely beautiful. Now I know uh, Jill said to me earlier that he wishes he kept a high line. So he's going goofy footed here. Stolen, stolen for the barrel. Perfect, uh, perfect pig dogging technique. So while we're here, it's a good time to talk about some pig dogging technique. Hey, are we back? Are we back? I think we're back. Hit me in the chat, Jules. <laughs> yes! We have done it! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're talking about backside tube technique, which uh, Jules has got spades on right here. Absolutely awesome. Okay. So what I was getting at is that if you, uh, a, a lot of people's natural tendency is to tuck into the tube with their leg outside their arm, so their back leg outside their arm. But this actually will mean when your butt engages with the wall, it's like much more pointy and makes a lot of grip. Whereas if you tuck your back leg inside your arm, it makes the left side of your body or your front foot, Jules' is right side of his body because he's goofy footed, uh, like a lot more smooth and then you get this sort of linear response to the pressure you put in. So you put a little bit of pressure, you'll get a little bit of stall, you put a lot of pressure, you get like a lot of stalling force. And Julian doing an absolutely perfect here. Probably should have put myself on full screen for that demonstration, huh? Oh well. Now I know Jules said to me earlier that he wished he had stayed, kept the high line here and got the double barrel of his life. <laughs> but uh, what a clip. What an absolute clip. Southern Ocean Swirls. Oh. Beautiful. Thanks Jules for the submission. That was freaking epic. Jamie SK, am I spelling it wrong? Yeah, Jamie SK8. <laughs> Another just full ripper. Great 
very nice. The, the base technique is all there. Um, we were talking about foot positioning before. You could benefit a bit from chucking your back foot further back. And also uh, shifting your weight. We're going to hit the board again. Now, when we think about how the board responds under weight, if you hold your weight neutral on the board, like in the middle, it's reacting on this long rail line, so this part is engaged, and this creates a little resistance to turn. Whereas if you get your weight right back on the back, you're pivoting around like this point where your fins are, and there's no resistance from up on the rail here. So if you get your weight right back on the back with your back foot back on the middle of the pad, you should be able to get a, a little bit tighter of a wrap. But you've uh, got the hard bit there, which is opening your body up. Very hard technique for, for uh, like intermediate surface to learn. It's why the front side snap is one of the most difficult uh, maneuvers to learn in surfing. And you've got that part nailed, so yeah. That's all I'd say is uh, get that back foot back. Hold this position a little longer in some circumstances and you'll be ripping those turns right round doing roundhouses. So freaking awesome. Oh, yeah, that's sick. Absolutely sick. Jamie skates and she's a skater, so skating is really good to help your pumping technique. So probably you're gonna be ripping like a pro, like legitimately like a pro. If you're skating regularly, you'll be better than me very quickly. <laughs> awesome. Another little flip here. Yeah, the bottom turns good. I'd say it looks like you're uh, not going to say scared, but a little worried about getting your weight further to your heel side. But uh, I'm sure with practice, you won't be so, yeah, you're, getting, you're already getting it more as this clip goes on. So that's awesome. Yeah. Getting the weight on your heels, getting the board back underneath you. So good. You can practice these skating too. Freaking awesome. Which I think makes a perfect transition. But we have one from my good friend, Zach Stoltz. And he is skating and he's practicing his surf technique on a skateboard, which is I highly recommend that. Probably the best thing you can do for your board control when surfing is going skating. There's some... <laughs> Sorry, I was just reacting to Julian in the chat again. Very good. Yeah, he's fading his bottom turn, coming up into the section, opening his front arm up first. I mean, this technique is just absolutely impeccable. So, so good. So, so good. The front, front side snaps ready to go to the surf. 100%. <coughs> Absolutely awesome. Wonder what we got next. Another one. Boom. Two in a row. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. So good. I recommend to anyone who's trying to learn like new turns 
to get a skateboard. If you're trying to learn to make speed on your surfboard as well, get a skateboard. You can practice pumping by like setting the rail, going up on the tail, setting the rail again, and you basically pump just like a surfboard, but uh, on a skateboard. Uh, my opinion is that a regular skateboard, or one like Zach has here, where it's just a basically regular popsicle deck but with some like softer wheels, uh, that's basically the closest thing you can get to surfing. There's these things called surf skates where the front wheels like twist, but when, you, when you're actually surfing and you set the rail to pump, that actually kind of holds the line, so when you pump on a surfboard, it holds the line on the front and then you pivot off the back, which is what you do, or what you'll see Zach kind of doing here. When you ride a surf skate, the front is basically just a ripstick, which uh, a surfboard doesn't really work like that, so it's not as analogous. Analogous? Is that the right word? It doesn't translate as well, whatever. <coughs> yeah, that, what Zach's doing there is exactly transferable to a surfboard for pumping. You coming back in for one more? Yeah. Fading down to the bottom, giving yourself a lot of space, just like you would surfing. Turn it into it. Ah. Got a little technique little technique flaw here, but not so bad. This is something people usually do on frontside snaps, um, which is amazing that you've, you've uh, got your uh, frontside snap down and your backside snap here is a little lagging. So what's going on here is that you're coming up into the section and then you're like holding your body open and trying to snap your legs back to like catch yourself. Um, but what will make this turn feel a lot more fluid and look a lot better is if you lead with your front arm and your head. So you come back up into the section, lead with your front arm and your head, and then drive around with your back foot up behind you. So it's a little uncomfortable to do. Um, but I practice it a few times just standing up like this, looking silly, but whatever. And think about driving your back foot, driving your back foot back this way behind you, which is going to be an uncomfortable feeling. Um, but once you try it a few times, hopefully the fear, the fear goes away and it will become a little more, a little more comfortable feeling. Uh, but yeah, we're really looking to separate the top half of the body, let the top half of the body go into the motion, and then bring the back foot round afterwards and drive back into your back heel. Yeah, so here, your body should already be twisted with your head, like your left shoulder, looking down this way. So lead the motion with your front your front arm. I think this is an old clip, so possibly you've already nailed this, but it's still instructional for uh, still instructional for whoever's watching it. But man, the bottom turn is on fire. Epic. Thanks, Zach. All right, let's see if I can get my uh, special guest for the next segment. I'm back. And in a second, I will have with me my special guest. It's Lily. Hello. My Lily. And uh, at the Lily Pilly on Instagram, if you are interested in some beautiful island photography. This is a bit strange because we did it exactly the same last night <laughs> and my audio was terrible. Yeah. But I have good. confirmation that the At audio is okay now. some of the better photos. Right. Yeah. 
This is mango, <laughs> mango Mary and mango, mango chutney. chutney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They frequent the trees near our house, the <laughs> swamp mahogany trees. Beautiful. Got a Toowoomba funnel web. Yeah, very good. Took a long time to ID that guy. A long time. <laughs> Very good. Whale shark. I cannot believe you saw a whale shark. Neither can I. Still can't believe it. I'm so jealous. A lot of beautiful photography from Stratty. Oh, and the rest of the bay, I guess. Just a bit of everywhere. There's some shots from Glasshouse Mountains and um, Hastings Point, Rockpool. Yeah. A bit of anywhere I go, really. <laughs> awesome. Should we dive into some clips? Uh, sure, let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. I can't even remember what we have here. Some great surfing paces, that's for sure. Yes. Digging. Whoa, huge wave. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. Uh, what am I doing? Alrighty, what are you thinking about this wave, Lil? Um, just wanted to catch a wave because it was fun. Yeah, <laughs> this is a good takeoff. Lil's getting her weight really far forward here. This is. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I try to do. I like when I bob my head forward like that. It's because I'm trying to get my weight in the right place. Yeah, this is a common misconception amongst beginners, which. Lil is not, clearly, because she's <laughs> killing it. Basically a pro. <laughs> Basically a pro. Um, the common misconception is that a lot of beginners will think they're nosediving because their weight is too far forward, so they sit right on the back of the board. This is not the case. This is not the case. <laughs> As I learned from last year. <laughs> As Lily learned. Um, what you really want to do is get your weight up the front. Now this is actually a huge board, so it looks like Lily isn't that far forward, but the board is actually like seven six or something. It's huge. Yeah. Like this is just a giant short board, basically a mini mouth that looks like a short board. Yeah. So if you're on one of those bigger kind of boards, basically you want your toes on the tail. Yeah. Even if you're tall like Lily. Yeah, this is a big guy. This is the big guy. <laughs> That's the model. Um and then the idea is you, once the wave sort of picks you up a little bit, you get your weight as far forward as you can and this will like help you accelerate and keep under the lip. So if you have your weight too far back, you'll actually come up in the lip and then you'll come down and nose dive, yeah. which is the misconception. <laughs> but what you want to do is as the wave starts to pick you up, keep your weight forward so that way then you can stay under the lip line, this being the lip line. <laughs> Yeah, I found it easier to turn. feel that properly on a on a mal, and then I kind of got to feel it on the other board. That yeah, I'm probably this because this is very mini mal like in it, in its paddle power. You could have felt it very well on this. Oh yeah, it feels pretty much. Lil, the same. Lil had a, a bit of a like funny <laughs> like five foot six board or something that she was riding, which uh, didn't make it easy. So she would just yeah. like be sitting on the board and just like have a lip hit her and pop her forward. Which is not great technique, but it, it sometimes worked. There we go, beautiful. So she's yeah, letting the letting the wave pick her up, getting the weight forward, and she's pivoted across and is coming <laughs> down the line already. And she's still so she's already pointing in the nose of her board across this way, and she's below the lift line. Like just a perfect takeoff. Oh, thanks, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Um, only thing I would say is you could allow yourself some more space with your left hand by moving it forward to... Oh yeah, that's right. That's the tip of the day, isn't it? Make some more room for your knee. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is... Because of your arm here, you're like putting your weight a little back. Whereas you could be driving down here just a tiny bit more. Yeah. But uh, generally... Epic. Epic. I and, don't know. And what does Parsley think about it? Pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Let's 
that's it. So good. There's a the big guy. It's a big board. Yeah. And yeah. I'm pretty tall as well. Like, 5'11". Well taller than me. Much, much taller than me. <laughs> so good. Alrighty, I think we have some sequences of you as well. Oh yeah, the surfing faces. Oh no. <laughs> surfing faces? Yeah. Nah, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Is so good that way forward as well <laughs> yeah so this is definitely something to work on making some more space for your for your uh front leg there so you can keep your weight forward yeah. that's not an official move by the way both moves on the board <laughs> unofficial i didn't see that at all don't worry about it <laughs> it actually is not too important not too important so in general i do that when i get tired yeah <laughs> <laughs> in general when you're surfing and when you're doing your takeoff if you think about the board uh if it's flat like this or your weight's forward this is going to make the most driving force forward down the line whereas if you bring your weight back it's going to stall off the board so if you do this, you're gonna stall up. If you do this, you're gonna race. I can't even see my legs, that doesn't make any sense. But if you're leaning on your front foot, like all weight on your front foot, with no weight on your back foot, that's gonna be fast. And if you lean back, the nose is gonna come up and you're gonna stall. Yeah. And it's the exact same thing when you're doing your takeoff. And you can do this little exercise, speaking away from the microphone, so you probably can't even hear me. You can do this little exercise where you practice pop-ups and you practice them at each extreme of the takeoff, and that way you can hit the balance point between. It's like the same theory as when you throw a, a piece of paper into a basket. If you practice throwing the piece of paper into the basket at the same point all the time, you're less accurate than if you throw it a six foot basket and then a 10 foot basket and then a six foot basket and then a 10 foot basket. The person who does that will be more accurate in the end. Yeah, so that was like a study or something. I don't really like know. Like, rather than trying to like do very similar things to, to fix it, like do the extreme. Right? Do the extreme. So basically, basically the exercise goes like this. We do front hand slightly further forward um, because you can get a lot of force out of your back hand. And then this front hand leaves more space for your front leg. So what you want to do is practice coming up and keeping your weight forward. So this, I'd be like right on the front of my board, basically. And then practice coming up and bringing your weight backwards. Yeah. That's the general idea. So do a couple of those. Forward. Backwards. And then that way you have the... I mean, practice it on the flat and then practice it in the surf as well and just see how your board responds to that and then that should give you more control over your speed down the line as you surf, which is basically beneficial for everyone. I should get Dad doing this too. <laughs> Big time. Uh, yeah. Are you going to do it? Sure. <laughs> Your takeoff has come so far uh, in, uh, yeah. in recent times. <laughs> yeah, I hurt my shin. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Genuinely though, like it's it's so much better. Well, I think a lot of it is because awesome. I have a lot more. <laughs> a lot of confidence. A lot more confidence now. Yeah. I've been quite scared of um, falling. Yeah, surfing every day at uh, Adderock. Yeah. At Maine. Yeah. Can make you more confident, for sure. <laughs> this photo is definitely going on the Instagram. I love this, just the splash and the whole thing. And then this one. It's so good. 
so so good. And there, this is some great uh, stance right here. Poised, ready to explode into a pump. Only the wave would let me. <laughs> Whoa. No, don't do that. <laughs> Look at the concentration. When I get like really concentrated surfing, I uh, I like flop my wrist down like this. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, because my I use my arms to like respond in my weight, right? Like I'm throwing them around, but I'm not thinking about my hands at all, so they just like go limp. <laughs> like a lot of surfers will like leave their fingers out and like do like Mick Fanning. He used to do these calves where. He'd, or Kelly Slater, they both do these back leg calves where they put their hands out and like do spirit fingers. Whereas I'm like the complete opposite. It's just my, like, I have my arms up, but my hands are just like limp on the end of my arms. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's like a velociraptor. Yeah. Yeah. There's some, uh, probably shouldn't tell you this. I have an old YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely look it up. <laughs> Don't look it up. But there's some like POV clips with GoPro, which is very embarrassing. Uh, the fact that they exist is, yeah, I don't know. It's not good, but you can just see my hands like in the front of the camera, like this. Just, very good. just all weird. Weird and wonderful. Mostly weird. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. I mean, I guess we look at uh, we look at some of my clips now. It would be unfair to to uh, you know tell all of you guys that you're terrible and uh, not have not have me also be told I'm terrible. But I'll keep Lil here so she can keep me keep me accountable. Oh, you you're great. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's, it's about the progress, and the progress has just been, like, phenomenal. Like, seriously phenomenal. <laughs> so awesome, and you've been learning to skate as well? Kind of. Freaking epic. And I, I bought this clip up here, specifically. Because I pop up, and I'm immediately stalling. So, this is kind of weird. A lot of the time, you pop up, and you want to race straight away. But this wave... Like, you start in a flat section, but I see this bit here, which I think is going to stand up. So I stand up, and I want to stay at the top of the wave, so that that way I can get some speed to hit this when it's formed up. I mean, it doesn't actually form up that much because of the burger, but... This is cylinders, I think. Um, this is outer. Don't blow out our spots, though. We're in big trouble. You only say it's outer when it's, like, zero... Oh, this is pretty bad, anyway. It's not that good, sir. I'm pretty sure it's cylinders, it's definitely out of. I was there. I was surfing. I was filming <laughs> on the headland. <laughs> at Ada. At cylinders. No. Nah. It was Ada. This is the day your parents were there. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> it's definitely out of. But, um. Where is it? Play speed. Here we go. Yeah, so I'm popping up and keeping my weight relatively far back. So my feet are in the normal spot, but my weight is like center of weight. It's a short board. This is a 5.7. So my center of weight is like center back. Just trying to stay up in the lip. And there you go. I've kicked it even further back. So now my center of weight is almost on the tail pad. Like I'm really stalling right here. And now I've wrapped down, because I see a section, and I'm laying into a little cutty. So I'm riding a spring fling as a twin fin there, um, which just makes like these flat sections feel really fun. And that tweak there, I'm going to blame on a broken fin box. <laughs> I just broken my fin box on the sand, the left side, and I uh, just busted out. Damn, I think it's Ada. It, it is Ada. <laughs> it is Ada. Well, what, so that's, that's Amity that's down Amity, there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 
Anyways, here's the full speed one. This is yeah. this is your guy's favorite clip of me, apparently, according to how many likes I got and stuff. But yeah, it's a spring fling. What can I say? It's just flat and fun and uh, makes a lot of speed in really, really crappy sections. Like this wave, if you're on a shortboard, you're just pumping. <laughs> Doing the Huntington hop. <laughs> Trying to make it across the section and nothing's happening for you. You just, you're just having a big cry saying, ah, damn, I wish... I wish I could make it around this section. I accidentally closed my account with all my clips in. What a fool. Right, here it is. Um, all right, so we have more spring fling clips. Excuse me, video viewer. Help me out. There we go. This was... Um, an early iteration of the machine shaped spring fling. Yeah. Um, this is still sitting on my racks, this specific one, if anyone wants it. I changed some stuff, but I mean, generally, it's the uh, same theory. Little, nice. little pop and 360. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Oh, yeah, I mean. Awful. <laughs> I don't know, it was a pretty burglary wave. <laughs> a lot less burglary than Dina's wave though, I must say. I was very impressed with uh, with Dina's clip. Now here, I have a bone to pick with myself on this one. <laughs> <laughs> this was terrible. Look, before I was talking about whose wave was it? Dom's wave, where he should have waited to cross the section. I should have waited to cross the section. I got too excited. <laughs> I'm already trying to cross the section. I should be waiting for it to get steeper and then cross the section. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Should be waiting. Should still be waiting. Should be waiting. Now I should start racing so then I can hit this power and then hit the lip hard. And instead, I just like. Terrible. <laughs> Say it well. Terrible. <laughs> the worst. The worst. <laughs> Send him back to surf school. <laughs> this is pretty cool though. Hey, what a trick right there. Twin fin for the dream. <laughs> so the spring fling you can ride as a twin fin or a thruster. Yep. Uh, I mostly ride it as a twin fin because it's more I've fast. I've ridden it as a twin fin. Yeah. It's more fast. But uh, a lot of people don't like twin fins. Those people aren't me, but a lot of people don't. I but don't it, you can also take it. that and like bigger, more powerful surf as a thruster. Because this board is so flat and wide that if you ride it as a twin fin um, in like more powerful surf, it's going to like start sketching out on you. It's going to be really weird. But yeah, if anyone wants this board, hit me up. I can give you a very good price on it because it's not like the current model, so... What was that? Did you see that snap? Ugh, yuck. Ugh. My weight. What are you doing? If only I could have that. <laughs> My weight needs to be like further back towards the screen. Yuck. Yucky, yucky. Yucky, yucky. Dis <laughs> disgusting. Look at the trim this thing gets though, in such a burgery way. Spring fling, it's good stuff. Uh, <coughs> don't know what this is. I haven't looked at these clips in so long. Yeah, that's an okay floater. Another floater. Another floater. <laughs> Are you telling me? You roasted me because it's all floaters. <laughs> Roast. <laughs> so good. Um, this is this is the original hand-shaped spring fling, which uh, is very close to the final sort of machine shape I have now. I've only like changed little things to make it slightly more manageable, but essentially it's the same. And I was riding it on the thruster here. This is the first day I rode it, and 
Well, the organ floated already. <laughs> This is nice though. I think this is nice. Fade down to the bottom, come up, yeah, big nice. roundhouse cutback thing. Ooh. Yeah. I thought Ooh. it was a short board <laughs> for a second and forgot that it wasn't. <laughs> Which is funny. Not bad, they don't mind that one. Is it auto plug? Or am I doing that? I'm doing it. That's just a very flat section right there. Oh, and that's a big <coughs> one filming right there. <laughs> yeah, my knees are getting out. Yeah. Fun waves. I was having fun. Could have done some better turns probably, but it was enjoyable. I was having a good time. Which is the most important thing, really, especially when I'm not ripping that hard. <laughs> that was funny. If I was coaching myself here, what I would say is, on the last turn, you tried too hard. <laughs> you tried to pick a turn that couldn't fit in this section. Oh wait, that wasn't even it. This one is this it? Yeah. <laughs> the wave was too flat to do that. <laughs> you should have just uh, sky lorded it and gone straight. That's what I would tell myself if I was trying to get a clip, which I was. Yeah. It's Dom. Is that Dom? Yep, Dom. Making a second appearance. When? This was just like I'm when I was realizing Dom. how fast this board is. Like this section is so flat. So, so flat. And I'm just like gliding across going, holy moly. <laughs> this is good. And then I'm bogging a top turn because I'm not used to it yet. But <laughs> That's my excuse anyway. But yeah, this... Just me going like, wow, I can't believe it goes this fast in such surf. And I'm happy. No. Yeah. Is that it? That's back to the start. Yep. Oh no, this is different. Look, I'm oh, stalling yeah. right from the start again. The power of the stall, waiting for the section to come. Not to toot my own horn here, but John John does that when he waits for the section, he just sits on the back of his tail. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than like wiggling around and stuff. Alright, Dan Dan. Dan Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can it be Kook Dan? Kook Dan Florence? Kook Dan Florence. Yeah, it's like John John, but way kookier and way less stylish. <laughs> and way worse at surfing in every conceivable <laughs> way. <laughs> that was pretty nice though. I took my advice here, waited for the section to form up before I went across. Hit the lip. Not too bad. Not too bad. Hey, that's a nice sunset clip. I should upload this. I don't think I've ever uploaded this to Instagram. I didn't <laughs> yeah, what am I doing? That was cool. I think it was cool anyway. Is that the end of them? That's gotta be the end. Okay, that's the end. Uh, that's grovel clips. I have short board clips. Absolutely pitted. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how deep was that pit? <laughs> uh, yeah, so deep. Yeah, I saw this um, <laughs> post on on uh board thorn on instagram the other day yeah what did it say it said uh you should have seen the barrel i got and then underneath it says the barrel they got and it's like it's like is the guy from board is his name ron or something i think his name's ron or something like that but he got this like barrel that was like even worse than what i just got <laughs> <laughs> oh it was hilarious so good at least I'm there to film it so you can't... Just lie? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I did this three-turn combo. I got barreled as hell. So deep. I did like a six-foot air and it was just absolutely tweaked to shit. So tweaked. Tweaked as. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then I did the cleanest frontside snap ever. It wasn't boggy at all. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently on Instagram, you guys like this one though. Even though everything objectively about this wave by itself is terrible. Just putting three terrible but like kind of tricky things together <laughs> makes a good clip. <laughs> uh, it's funny. I love it. Yo, we have an actual viewer. What's up to the live viewer in Twitch? Good to have an actual live viewer. I hope you're enjoying the banter. We're reviewing my clips now, so... Now that's... That is a shampoo right there. It's... No, that was deep barrel. <laughs> deep barrel. It's a shampoo. It's a shampoo. It's not a barrel yet. But, uh... What do you reckon? Deep barrel. <laughs> deep barrel. Let me hang that up. <laughs> Any deeper and you wouldn't have made it out. Any deeper, <laughs> very funny. I mean, it wasn't barreling that much, so I didn't have that much opportunity. <laughs> but I also fell off after I came out. Yeah, you couldn't see that section though. But what I should have done is anticipated it better. <laughs> so when I'm here, I'd be popping it up into a wheelie to hit a big floater, and then it would be a, a two turn combo. Wait, do you count barrels a turn? <laughs> Is it enough to win a QS 1000? Oh, it's a, they only count turns. So they don't count barrels. Well, I was in a QS 1000. And I got a barrel and the judges didn't see it. It's a true story. They meant to count them, but... Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, they didn't see it. I got a photo of evidence and everything. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I came third out of a four-man heat and didn't make it through the first round of the QS 1000 which if you're wondering is the lowest rank WSL sanctioned event you can go in <laughs> but you know what it was fun I, I think I surfed against one of the guys who went on to like the semis so nice yeah he was, he was ripping basically famous a lot <laughs> no the announcer did say my name though. But they only put the final stay on stream and I only made it to the first round oh of the first no. day. So. <laughs> I needed to make four more heats before I made it on the Warsaw stream. <laughs> Barreled ass. <laughs> whoa, whoa, we're skipping out here. Yep. That right there was the air section of the year so far. Of the year? Dude, tell me it's not. Look at this thing. I got s opportunity for so much speed and then just to hit this here, yeah. I'd be going into space. Rocket Dan. I had Rocket Dan. <laughs> burning out his fuse out here alone. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I mean. <laughs> I'd probably blow it, who knows, but it was a good section, it was a really good section. But I just had to like go up high, because this guy, like I, because when you, when you do an air, you gotta like come down low, and then go no, up. really? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I was coming down low to go up, and the guy like looked at me like we're going straight at each other, so I was like, alright, I'll go up. So then I went up and like was doing a floater. Should have just collided. And it was terrible, but look, we both thought it was funny. Look, we both laughing at each other. It was good. <laughs> we should have collided. Yeah, it would have made, made sick viewing. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point. You get a lot of engagement for those ones. <laughs> I saw one of those on Instagram yesterday where two guys did an air into oh, each other. Oh, yeah, and their boards like... And I'm not that. convinced that they didn't intentionally try it just to get a viral clip. <laughs> like, I think they could have intentionally done it for the viral clip. But they're boards. They're poor boards. Yeah, but they didn't seem to be their best boards either. Mm -hmm. That was a good fade down to snap. Oh, God. It's terribly out of focus, though. Squint your eyes a little. Just pretend it's meant to be blurry. Yeah, well, that's your fault. It's, it's art. It's art. Yeah. 
Look at this though. Hashtag this is, surf art. This is genuinely good technique here. <laughs> Fading down into the flats, giving myself a lot of opportunity and time to come and turn real hard up into the lip. I mean, I kind of dodged the lip a bit, but I came up hard anyway. <laughs> and uh, I posted that screenshot on Instagram. Wait, that one right there. It was good. Great. Not a bad snap. This was, this was the first SS20 off the machine and the first board I ever glassed. So um, I really don't like the nose on this board at all. But I have refined it now and I have my, my new SS20 model is superb. The nose is beautiful. I mean, look at that thing. That's an ugly nose. SS20 Spencer's Super Speedy. Uh, it actually stands for Summer Spring Fashion <laughs> 2020 Season. <laughs> That's what someone told me on Instagram. Uh, didn't you just look up the hashtag SS20? Only after they asked me. Someone, oh. I put one of those like, ask something about Hatchoff Shapes and they said, does SS20 stand for Summer Spring 2020? And I said, I guess it does. <laughs> <laughs> We have more. There's always more. There's really more. Yo, this guy. If you are this guy, and he he kicked out just <laughs> to let me have the end section. If you are this guy, or you know who this guy is, clearly very identifiable there. Um, tell him to message me, or if you're him and you're watching this, message me, and I will buy you a beer or a soda water or something something uh, uh, hot chips from the Stratty pub <laughs> whatever you this allowed me to do one of the the best uh, turns I've got on, on film so far it's pretty nice pretty nice close out sections now I was happy with it not bad so, this is a big four after this I thought I was Adriano de Souza and I went out <laughs> I went out again the next day and tried to hit like an even bigger section and got just absolutely slammed. <laughs> Did I get that on camera? <laughs> nah, no one was filming that. <laughs> damn. Yeah, damn, damn. I don't know, it probably wouldn't make a good clip. I think this is a nothing way. This is just me willing there to be a section and there isn't. It's just one. I wanted this to be a little, sometimes you get these insiders why am I pointing at the screen? You guys can't see that. I should use my mouth. Sometimes you get these like little ribs and they hit the bank like a little earlier and you can pop like little backside air reverses off of them, which I love to do. It's such a good feeling. We still have a single viewer watching live. I can't believe it. Is your phone like accidentally still running it? No, I quit everything. Oh. Well, hello to our one live viewer. And to hello to our many retrospective viewers. Probably there'll be five of you. Three of which will be me. <laughs> and one will be Lily. Are the other one will be Dad. You're going to put it up on my phone to just let it play. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> 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 Very good. Yes. Anyways, as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted. No, I interrupted myself. What am I talking about? This section here. Um... A lot of the time these inside sections can pop up like just a little lip and you can pop these like sick little backside reverses off them on a section where you'd usually just like kick out. And I willed that to into existence. It didn't happen, but I tried anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the end of my clips? It's the end of my clips. Thank God. Good. Good riddance. We have one sequence though, I think. Yep, you know, uh, <clears throat> practicing what I preach right here, front hand a little further forward, left hand a little further back, right, sorry, I've confused my left and my right, left front hand a little further yeah. forward, right back hand a little further back, it's weird to call it your back hand, but that's what I'm doing, yeah. and it's given me lots of space to bring my knee in under, pivoting off the back rail, keeping the nose up from poking, Deep barrel. Yeah, absolutely slotted to the depth of infinity. <laughs> I was so deep in that thing. It was like, uh, 
or something people say. It was like, it was like a black hole. I went in there and came out into a different universe. Yeah. A foamy, wishwashy universe. Anyways, it closed out on my head. But I did actually come through um, and ride out. Sure. I did. You were there. You yeah, know you know. What to I know through. you did, yeah. It was not clean, obviously, because there's no clean way out of that. Um, that's just some guy with a ripped back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what do you think about that, Lil? Zooming in on your own back. What about that? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not the one that zoomed in. <laughs> yeah, that was me. That's even more embarrassing, isn't it, man? If people clip this, I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> so good. I hear the one viewer disappeared after that. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, one live viewer. Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. That was so funny. <laughs> This day was just terrible, terrible surf. Um, but that was a pretty fun turn, and this is a really cool photo too. I like this. It's a cool, it's a cool photo. I was pointing at something. Am I? Yeah. Oh yeah, didn't notice. <laughs> um, I'm pointing to... Uh, <coughs> that's where I'm going after this, home, back up the headlands. <laughs> And that is true, because this was just washing machine. I got two waves in like a 35-minute yeah. session. The current was so strong, I was basically running along the beach trying to keep up with him. <laughs> like, not even kidding. <laughs> yeah, it was terrible. I was pretty exhausted But after the colour of the water, mate. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, that's so funny. But the, the colour of the water makes for a really cool photo. All right. It wasn't the nicest colour, though. <laughs> We're done with that. Wow, it's the lily pilly and a baby whale. So many baby whales. Give us a whale fun fact while we find who's next. Oh, so many whale fun facts. <coughs> um, uh, ask, ask me a question. Uh, One that you know I know the answer to. <laughs> mm. How many blowholes do different whales have? Because I've seen some of them, they have two. Yeah. So the, that's, that's four, see? What? <laughs> that's four. Oh, this was meant to be the edge of the hole. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, so the, the baleen whales, the ones that have like the, I don't know, the moustache inside their mouth. <laughs> the moustache. <laughs> Very technical term, by the way. Um, they have two blowholes. And then Odontoses whales, I think that's the word. Um, the toothed whales, like dolphins or killer whales or sperm whales, they have one hole. Yeah, so. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, Absolutely beautiful. What is the strongest muscle in the mammalian kingdom? <laughs> the strongest muscle in the mammalian kingdom is these guns. <laughs> <laughs> these guns! Oh, damn! Uh, it's the, uh, why have I forgotten the word? It's the tongue muscle of Lily on a Sunday night after the, what? Just yapping, yapping, yapping away with her mates. Uh, the peduncle muscle. Which is, which part? That's the... Is there a peduncle okay. in here? Yeah, go back up. No, not that far. Good. Okay, but up a little, up a little more. That. That one. It's that part of the whale. So like the, the tail. <coughs> the tail muscle. Yeah, the tail muscle. You don't want to get in the way of that because it will kill you. Destroy you. Okay, that was all filler because I just wanted to get up uh, this sequence of my old man. I thought you were interested in whale facts. <laughs> oh, I, I love whale facts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do love whale facts because I remembered all those things. So I didn't remember which. Actually, I would have figured it out because I know that. Uh, I know that. Figured what out? Humpback whales only have one hole. Is that right? Humpback whales have two holes. 
Humpback whales are baleen whales. They have the mustache inside their mouth. The baleen. Oh, I failed. <laughs> I knew they were baleen. Yeah, so they have two holes. Oh, I thought they only had one. No. Go, go back to one of the but like... I can show you. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. See, who's... two holes. Sorry, There's... everyone who's coming on this journey There's with me. Two... Oh, they do have two holes. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Two sets of bubbles coming out right there. Yeah, there they are. One, two. That's a that's a newborn, by the way. Oh, wow. You can see the, the caption. I put a lot of... And like killer caption. whales and stuff have one. Yeah. Are they whales? They're, they're toothed whales. Yeah, so they're whales. So people often say that they're like, you know, they're a dolphin, not a whale. But it's, it's more that they're toothed. Gotcha. Rather than baleen. Yeah. I'm on it. <laughs> Look, guys, I'm basically a biologist now. I can identify most uh, animals around Stratty. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're, you're pretty good. Or at least most uh, animals around Stratty that uh, you can see on the side of the street or tourists are interested in. So the kangaroos, huh? you can identify the kangaroos? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thank God. <laughs> the, the eastern grey kangaroos? Yeah. Very yes, good. <laughs> and koalas and and curlews and manta rays and it's a great place. Come and visit, yeah. but not if you're a surfer. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. For it's surfing. terrible yeah. for surfing. You would like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's my old man, and he's riding a big guy, which is aboard. Um, Someone Ali's riding before. Yeah, it's the board Lil's been stealing because she likes it a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> so dad's been surfing uh, for a long time, since before the twin fin revolution, so <laughs> not the thruster revolution, the twin fin revolution. So it's been a while. I think when he was a kid it was before the shortboard revolution, so it's been, it's been some time. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Anyways, we made this, I made this thruster with him, which is basically... Four small waves, but you can ride it into like six foot um, very comfortably. And it's long and flat and has a lot of paddle power. So he can ride this kind of like small surf. But he likes to put a lot of weight on the front foot. Um, and the nose of this kind of board is a lot more driving than a mini mountain. You can see he's doing it right there. Weighting up the front of the board and driving up his front foot. Um, but basically it's just a mini mountain that is like a little more short board like but it's just yeah. super volume and like super paddle power. <clears throat> Anyways, recently we were looking at some clips with dad and we realized that his pop-up was shooting him back. So he puts his right foot up first and then his left foot, which is very unique, but it's not actually inherently bad. Like it's, it can be okay. Like it's not quite as fast as like a regular pop-up, but this in itself um, won't hold you back from like keeping your weight forward but he was having issues with his weight I mean you can't even see it on this I don't know I showed you this sequence I guess because I deleted all the other ones but he would get like kind of caught up a little more like back with his weight back in the lip in his pop up and that's because he didn't have enough space here so he couldn't get forward so what we did was we worked on moving his left hand forward which I talked about a lot in this stream <laughs> but uh my old man has been practicing this and he's been surfing for forever and possibly this issue came around when he had his, he had a shoulder dislocation. Yeah. So I think this is part of it because when you move your arm forward, you like internally rotate it a bit and put it up the board in front of you. So I think he lost that technique when he had his shoulder surgery. But now his shoulder's like, well, good for like 10 years. Um, but he's been practicing getting his arm like further forward on his board so there's more space for him to come in and keep his weight forward on his pop-up and basically he's been able to like keep speed down the line during his pop-up and he's even been riding like a shortboard again hmm. and has been popping up in sections where he's been like usually just getting sucked over the lip so progression is impossible is I was about to say impossible <laughs> progression is possible 
No matter who you are. And we had a viewer come and leave again. This is how boring I am. This video's gone longer than the one we did yesterday. Yeah, how long is it? An hour 43. Wow. <laughs> exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. So, epic work, Dad. <coughs> if you're watching this back, Style Lord, I reckon this looks a bit like Craig Anderson, you know. Arms down. I remember this like classic clip of Ando where he's like doing a bottom turn but like arching his back back. And I reckon this looks a bit like that. A bit uh, uh, unusual technique with the feet crossed up on the board. Wouldn't recommend it but uh, I'm going to have a hard time convincing Dad not to do that one. That is very deep seated. <laughs> I think this is some, something to do with uh, knees because Dad doesn't have an ACL in one of his knees either so from a skiing accident, which I think, I think that's something to do with that. I think it's his right knee. So usually, usually when you're surfing, you want to like keep your back foot like, oh my God, I'm spinning. I can't stop myself spinning. You want to like keep your back, like weight your front foot and keep your back foot like back on the pad like this. <laughs> <laughs> so that that way you have the back weight like available to you instantly. But this like kink you put in your knee is no good if you don't have an ACL. So he's going to struggle to, like, adopt a regular style. But, man, he can do some killer-looking bottom turns with his right foot on the rail, I tell you that. <laughs> All right. I think that's it for the first episode of How to Not Suck at Surfing. Um, yeah. I hope everyone's learned something. Uh, we can all progress our surfing a little more. I especially can progress my surfing a lot more. This year, I am going to learn frontside air reverses. And if it gets to December, how many days are in? Uh, 31. If it gets to December 31st, and I haven't done a frontside air reverse, I will go on my Instagram, and I will do a post of shame where I say, this year, I promised I was going to do the air reverse. <laughs> and I didn't. So I can do backside air reverses. Like, proper ones backside. Like, lofted and everything. I can do frontside straight airs. Like, frontside different grabs. I can do, like, different grabs on frontside airs. And, like, I can do backside straight airs, which is a thing not many people do. But I can't do a frontside air reverse. And this is the year. I'm willing it to be and I will do the post of shame if I don't get it done. I'll get a whole lot of uh, a compilation of all the attempts, the fail attempts. <laughs> Put it all in one video. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Are you, what, is what you're saying you have that you're going to film a lot of my sessions? Oh, no. Oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> <coughs> Thanks for the offer. I'm never going to surf this year, am I? <laughs> It's okay, we can just surf back to back. Yeah, but the, the surf's only really good for like an hour at a time, depending on the, the tide and the wind. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm outroing it again because I outroed it and then I stopped outroing to talk about an anecdote. I'm doing a frontside air reverse. A little... Um, whether she likes it or not, it's going to do a floater because I'm committing her to it. I've already huffed. No, you, I didn't run out of it. Will you do a post of shame if you don't do a floater? That's so mean. <laughs> I'm not that good. <laughs> Dude, you're on the verge already. <laughs> Does that mean you're going to film lots of me this year? Yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, I, I'm keeping no promises. Okay, we won't hold you to that. <laughs> Thanks for watching.